Hi there. In this short video, I'm going to just think out loud a bit about having MOOCs be able to see themselves. So if you have if you saw the previous video that I produced from the SketchUp model, you know that this cloud of, of cubes represents the, the, the MOOC, the individuals in the MOOC and the connections between them. There's the, where they're connections being sort of sharing of information or, or people that they're paying pe attention to, exactly what those connections are. A little vague at this point, but that's okay. Um, but, and, and these, uh, <clears throat> these images over here represent what the MOOC is producing. Um, and, and so it's pretty easy to see what the MOOC is producing. Those people, participants in the MOOC, it's pretty easy for them to see what the MOOC is producing. You know, uh, uh, an active MOOC is producing a heck of a lot of stuff, so it's hard to keep track of all that stuff. Um, but nevertheless, it's pretty straightforward that, that you know, as I've displayed it here, that you can sort of see the, the MOOC's output. What is not clear yet is, is how we can allow the MOOC to see itself. So if this is the MOOC, uh, we want the MOOC, um, you know, here's some participant in the MOOC in, in terms of can you, from where you are, can you see the MOOC, right? Or are you just seeing like something like this, right? Just confusing um, set of people that you're sharing um, stuff with, but not any way to see the, the, the whole MOOC. So, what if we did something like this? What if we had some way to show the MOOC uh, to the MOOC, right? Some representation of the MOOC, and this is, of course, this this cloud of of cubes. It's just an abstract representation of the MOOC. But if we had some way to to have an abstract representation of the MOOC, so the MOOC could see itself, right? So uh, what would this mean? I mean, just to have a static network graph wouldn't be terribly interesting, um, as, as you'd want to see activity. So, um, you know, we could have something, I suppose, where, say, these represent, um, like, posts on a, on a Google group, and then... Um, and then these are comments on those posts, the colors um, being similar. And, and then, um, you know, you could just, as we move forward in time, we could just continue doing that, right? So that those first posts fade out and, and new ones come in and, and track the information like that. Um, this is this is an interesting problem, right? How do you how do you get the MOOC to be able to see itself? And I, as I said, I'm just thinking out loud here of of some way of getting getting basically a map of the MOOC out where the MOOC participants can see it, and and that can be part as well as the you know the more traditional um, things that are created by the participants of the MOOC. The MOOC could also see um, itself, and and um, perhaps in seeing itself, um, some emerging, interesting emerging properties, emergent properties might show up. So, again, just a quick um, video uh, trying to help myself think about this idea of um, a MOOC seeing itself. Thanks.